internationally for what will be an historic occasion for the National Rugby League. Tonight, Chris Hyde, Jordan Martin, or Lou Goodwin will be our first winner of the NRL Rookie. Let's give him a round of applause. You can only play for so long until your body commits. It's competitive. Very competitive. We both are, so he's competitive. Yeah, we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no choice. Between through the system in the under-20s, he now knows what's required. He's determined, he's dedicated. I think he can crack it. One of the Roosters games and just watched Lou and just his attention to detail when he was at marker and, you know, his defence and getting off the line and getting back on side and coming off the line and when he was with the ball and his support and um, and also running decoys, all the stuff there, like I said before, that people wouldn't notice. And he did every one of them without fail. He just did every one. And then when he, he was leaving the Roosters and I rang Brandy, I said, what are you doing? Why isn't someone ringing him up and getting him back out? But I just didn't realise he'd lost the heart for the footy and... Well, that's what tonight is all about. Second chances, 100%. Lou, best of luck to you and your family tonight. I would now like to welcome to the stage the CEO of the NRL, Todd Greenberg. Number of votes will remain in the competition. The rookie with the lowest number of votes will be cut. OK, boys, our first rookie to go through in no particular order is... Watch you come home from West Wyalong after shearing sheep and say, what, say to myself, I want to be like that bloke one day when I was a young bloke. Um, who would have thought in 30 years' time that I was coaching your, your young bloke on, a, on a, t a show called The NRL Rookie? Mate, you must be so, so... To go over such a small community, that's all you did, which is play footy every day. And, you know, I want to be a good role model for country kids who want to try and make that path. In the, in the professional footy and hopefully they can see me and choose me as a role model. Well, they're lucky to have you. Thank you so very much. Okay, I see Panthers... Congratulations. You know, the stress is over, like I was a bit you know, anxious waiting there, but now yeah, excited for the next chapter in my life. So, awesome, going on, can't I? Yeah, thank you. Okay, well, congratulations, Lou, and further good news for your club as well. You will get $25,000 for the West Island Club. That is phenomenal. Well done. How does it make you feel that you have helped grassroots rugby league in your town? Uh, it's awesome, you know, helping kids, you know, like getting a bit of gear when you're so young is the best thing you can receive, like a football or a footy bag. It just grows, it makes that Your time is now up. Good move on behalf of the Raiders. Um, yeah, just down the road. And that, especially for country kids, you know, it's a real benefit. Um, just makes them a bit more comfortable. You know, in the Gold Coast, um, what Neil Henry's done on, over the last 12 months, you know, you go all the way back to, you know, let's talk about Daly Cherry Evans and the contract saga there. And ever since then, they've just gone forward. Sensational stuff. And here we have the two camera.